Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I'm actually filming this on Halloween so by the time I get this posted Halloween will be over. I hope that all of you who are doing something for Halloween had a fun and safe time. I particularly don't really do anything for Halloween but that's just me. I know a lot of other people out there have a lot of fun with it so hopefully you all had a great time. As you can probably tell by the title of this video we are getting ready for the upcoming Sephora sale. I got a couple of requests and questions on Instagram about what I'm going to be getting during this sale or if I had any product recommendations. So that's what we're here to talk about today. As many of you probably know, the Sephora sale is coming up and I will include the different dates up on the screen. I know that sometimes it can be really hard to keep track of the different dates that the sale is going on depending on your level with Sephora. So I'll have those dates up on the screen so you can take a look and see when you're able to shop the sale. So in preparation for this video, I was browsing the Sephora site on my phone um, through the app and I just tried to think about products that I liked in the past, what I would want to get right now. And I did just want to mention that I have done a few previous videos where I either talked about what I picked up during the sale or my previous product recommendations. So I will both link uh, those videos up in the cards and also down below in the description box in case you want to check them out. In my previous videos and this current one, I have also included a list down in the description box including some links so that you can easily find these items so in preparation to film this video I basically browsed the Sephora site online and thought about all of the different products that I would like to get this time not saying that I'm actually getting all of these products this time because that would be a ton of stuff but just kind of thinking to myself like if I was running out of something what would I want to pick up I also thought about what my favorite items are that I typically repurchase time over time and what I feel like like I would want to stock up on anytime there's a good sale and I want to make sure I have some certain things on hand that I don't want to run out of. So I created a list on my phone and we're just going to go through everything. If I have the actual product, I will show it to you guys right here on camera. But if I don't currently have the product, I will include a picture so you can see what it looks like. All right, so let's get right into it. The first item is the Ola Henriksen Truth Serum Vitamin C. I did get some questions on Instagram about what vitamin C serum I personally like. This has been one that I have repurchased time over time. I'll be honest, there are a ton of vitamin C and like um, brightening products that I'm interested in and and I haven't gotten a chance to try all of them just yet, um, but I have found myself repurchasing this one in particular, so I wanted to recommend it in this video. I did see a few on the Sephora website that I'd be interested in trying so at some point in the future, but I have not tried them yet, and I didn't want to make this video too long, so I won't be mentioning them here, but hopefully I'll be able to try some of those other products sometime soon. The second item I have is right here. This is the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence, and it was kind of funny because I actually got this in a gift set quite a while back. I just finished this and started a new essence, but I had heard a lot about this product, was kind of on the fence if I wanted to try it or not, but I did happen to get it in a holiday set. I think it was from last year, and I would say that I actually really enjoyed this product. There have been other essences in the past that I've used that were a little bit watery in texture. This one is not as watery, but I did feel like it was very hydrating. To me, it felt very refreshing. I know that some people don't really feel like an essence is necessarily like a part of their essential skincare steps, but I personally like to use an essence and this is something that I would see myself repurchasing in the future. Um, I do have like a full bottle of another essence that I'm using, so I probably won't be picking this up again right now because it does take me a while to go through essences. But I would definitely repurchase this in the future. Next up, I have this Origins Ginseng Oil-Free Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer, and I think I've talked about this at least a couple times before. I personally gravitate more towards gel moisturizers because I have combination skin and um, certain areas of my face, mostly around the nose, can get a little bit more oily throughout the day, so I tend to stick more towards gel moisturizers, especially in the summertime. During the winter and the drier months, I can switch over to something that's a little bit more creamy, but most times during the year I do tend to opt for a gel moisturizer and I really like this one. I've repurchased it in the past several times. Um, what I really like about it is the texture, it absorbs really quickly, and it does have a really fresh citrus scent to it which um, I personally really like. The next item on my list is from Tatcha. It's the water cream oil-free pore minimizing moisturizer and that's just another moisturizer that I wanted to mention. In case something like this is not enough for you and you want something a with a little bit more moisture, I did find that the Tatcha moisturizer did that for me. I felt like it was maybe a little bit too 
hydrating for my skin like I could feel a little bit of slip on my face um, as the day kind of progressed but if you're somebody who maybe needs a little bit more of that like you have drier skin or dehydrated skin maybe that might be a good option for you to try the fifth item on my list is the pharmacy green clean makeup removing cleansing balm I had this product but I finished it up a few months ago so I've already gotten rid of the empty but that was the first time that I actually tried that cleansing balm um, overall I do really love cleansing balms it has been something in my skincare routine for quite some time now I've heard a lot of people talk about the one from pharmacy and that's the first time I actually got to try it out and I would say that I can definitely tell why so many people like it it was a great cleansing balm it really did a great job at getting all the makeup off of my face um, as I mentioned in previous videos I don't wear like a full face of makeup very often but I do tend to use waterproof mascara and this removed it very easily um, i think this would be a great cleansing balm if you're looking for something in the clean beauty kind of area something that i also thought was really great about this balm is that it came with a little spatula for you to like scoop the product out of the container which was actually the first time i personally saw within a cleansing balm like container like a spatula coming with it i know that might sound a little bit silly and i have used some other cleansing balms since then that also came with a spatula so maybe it's something that's totally common these days but that was the first time that I saw it and I thought it was really convenient and I appreciated that I had that additional tool to help me um, get some product out of the container the next product I wanted to mention is this right here this is the skin fix eczema plus hand repair cream and I personally really like this product because during the drier months of the year it doesn't I can't really say cold because it doesn't get cold where I live but um, during the drier months of the year this has definitely helped me out especially lately since we're using so much hand sanitizer and washing our hands a lot in the last almost two years now um, I've been finding that this is a moisturizer that really helps my hands um, in the past like maybe for the past almost 20 years now I've noticed that during like December January my hands get really dry even prior to you know using a lot of hand sanitizer and to the point of where like my skin would crack and stuff like that I don't know if that happens to you guys out there I think it's really weird because where I live it's like humid year-round so I feel like that shouldn't be happening to me but I think that's just showing me how dry my skin can get um, during certain seasons so I was on a search for moisturizers and hand lotions and I've definitely tried a lot of different ones a lot of different ones that a lot of people say are really great but I would definitely say that this one works best for me I like to use it at night because it is a very thick hand repair cream so I put it on at night and um, that's kind of the only time that I use it you could probably use it during the day but I'm just someone who doesn't really like a lot of like slip on my hands throughout the day like when I'm holding pens and writing and stuff like that I do work in an office so there's lots of times where I am writing I also don't like to get a lot of lotion like on my keyboard when I'm typing I'm just like I don't know that neat freak or whatever but I definitely like using this one at night then I can just put it on my hands go to sleep and uh, my hands are a lot softer and more moisturized in the morning. I actually didn't realize how many of these products on my list I'm currently using right now. So next I have the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I'm currently using this. It's almost run out. It's pretty low to the bottom. But the reason why I like this eye cream is because it is very hydrating. I feel like the texture is really thin. So it's easy to um, apply underneath the eyes and you know make sure it gets worked into your skin. And I would say that it absorbs really nicely into the skin. Um, yeah, I've been really liking this eye cream I feel like I have very high expectations for eye cream and I haven't found like my like dream eye cream or anything like that out there maybe one of these days I will but for now I am liking this one from belief the next item on my list I do currently have this product but it's in my shower and I feel like water is gonna pour out of it if I go and grab it but it's the Ola Henriksen lemonade smoothing scrub I feel like you know there's kind of a toss-up if people like to use scrub like exfoliants on their face um, so you know if that's something that you're not comfortable with I'm not recommending that you go out and get this I personally like to use an exfoliating scrub on my face and this one actually for me is really impressive there are some chemical exfoliants within the formula as well and I do feel like every time I use it it does make my skin feel really soft however you know I am kind of like leaning towards trying to not use scrubs on my face I don't exfoliate very often in general to be honest with you like maybe I use this once or twice a month if I even remember that's how not great I am at exfoliating but I think maybe because I wait so long I feel like a drastic change um, it really does feel like it's getting a lot of dead skin cells and like it 
it definitely is helping the texture of my skin i do also really like the smell of this because it does have like a lemony citrus smell to it as well and yeah so if you are someone who's interested in using like an exfoliating scrub on your face maybe check this one out um, i personally have been liking it next up is the brightening cleanser from indie glee this is one that i haven't used in a while but i personally really liked this cleanser um, i think i've mentioned it in previous videos it does have a very like thick that sort of like jelly consistency to it i want to say um, and you can leave it on your face for like some exfoliating and brightening effects i was using this cleanser in the daytime back when i did have it you know it's run out now it's been quite some time since i've used it um, but it does come to mind here and there when i want to get a cleanser to feel like i'm treating myself um, i was using it in the morning and that's actually i'm not sure i would recommend that people use it in the morning it's probably the best time to use it but to rinse it off your face it does take a little bit of effort and a lot of water so personally with a texture like this i would prefer to use it at night because it would be easier for me to wash off in the shower versus over the sink in the morning so that's just something that i just wanted to throw out there to keep in mind but it is a cleanser that i really liked and i have repurchased it a couple times in the past I did want to mention a hair tool. I don't really style my hair too much. I've mentioned that in previous videos as well. I kind of like a natural hair look personally. Um, but I did want to mention the Dyson Airwrap Styler because I have used it for photo shoots and for other videos in the past. And it did do a really great job at curling my hair. I was using the curling tool. I have done a video where I tried it out for the first time that I'll link up in the cards and down in the description box so you can check it out. You will see a confused look on my face because I do feel like there's a learning curve with getting used to using this hair tool, but I do find that the versatility in having like a hair dryer, like a tool that you can sort of like give yourself a blowout and also curl your hair all in one is pretty amazing. And that's the reason why I wanted to mention it here. Um, the curls lasted all day. They looked really good. Um, the couple of times I used it in photo shoots where I was outside, it was pretty hot. I was getting kind of sweaty and my hair still looked great even after all of that was done. So yeah, it is a tool that I would recommend for its versatility, but I will just give you all a heads up that it does take a little bit of practice and learning in order to get more familiar with using it. I did want to mention the Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. This is the eyebrow pencil that I use today. The reason why I wanted to mention this today is, yes, it is one of my favorite brow pencils. There are a couple that I really, really like. Um, some of the other ones I've already used up. This is the one that I have right now that I'm using and I really like it. The tip is really um, small. That's the reason why I like it. It definitely lets me get a more like detailed look to my brows. And this has been lasting me quite some time recently because I have been working mostly remotely throughout this year. So I haven't actually been filling in my brows very often, which is saving me on pencils. I really do think that it looks really great with my brow lamination that I've been getting for the past few months. And that's also the reason why I wanted to mention it as well. I know there's a lot of different opinions and preferences with brow pencils, but if you did want something with a very fine tip, I'd recommend trying this one out. Personally, for me, there's a lot of other great brow pencils out there that I've heard, you know, others really like but once the end of the pencil gets like really big like I feel like that could be very efficient for other people but it doesn't look very good when I try to use those so I do tend to gravitate to ones with a very fine tip and yeah I really like this one I've repurchased it a few times there are some others like the Dior um, brow styler I think is what it's called that I also like as well but this is just the, the one that I have that I'm currently using sticking within the theme of brows um, this is the Anastasia clear brow gel I personally like clear brow gels. I think I've mentioned that in other videos as well because I do tend to rush and get a little bit messy when I'm applying a brow gel. So I prefer them to be clear so you can't see any of the mistakes that I made. Um, but I have purchased this brow gel time and time again. I don't even know how many of these I've gone through. Um, but yeah, I really like that the brush is a little bit bigger but yeah i've been really liking this brow gel it definitely holds my brows in place i like the hold of it the brush is really big so i can just run it through my brows really quickly and yeah i would definitely repurchase this again i do like to try different types of brow pencils and gels but i keep coming back to this one the last item on my list is the laura mercier caviar sticks and this is just the first one in my makeup bag. I have a few others in there, but I probably have to dig around in order to get them out. But I did want to mention that personally, I've tried a lot of other um, like eye pencils and the Laura Mercier ones work the best for me. Um, I like the colors. I like the finishes. This one is in caramel. It's a matte color. It's very 
neutral like if you wanted like a nice neutral wash of color over your lids i would recommend trying this one but she does make a lot of other colors and finishes as well ones that are a little bit more like shimmery or metallic you can find anything from like green purple bronze you know rose gold all those different colors i have also been liking cream eyeshadows that come in a pot but i personally like these pencils because they're super quick easy and convenient you can just take the top off and smudge it all over your lids blend it out with a finger i've been finding that these from laura mercier seem to last on me more than some of the other, which is the reason why I wanted to suggest it. I've been having such good luck with it. All right, well, those are all of the items that I have as far as suggestions go, things that I personally like that I think you may also like and wanna check out during the sale. I thought I would also share with you some of the things that I have in my basket, just kind of getting it ready to go once the sale goes live for me. So I'm trying to not go too crazy. I'm mostly looking for things that are more like practical. That's been something that I've been keeping in mind and being really mindful of lately so my list is not super long i've got five things here first i have the slip skinny scrunchies twilight bobble and i have been really wanting to try out like silk scrunchies for my hair i typically use normal like elastic hair ties and as you can probably see there's like a bend in my hair right here i think it's because i had my hair tied up earlier today and i'm just very curious about how um, these silk scrunchies will work i've heard that they won't do that they're a lot more gentle on your hair so i definitely want to give them a list is the Moroccan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask. I personally am not very good at doing hair masks and I'm hoping that this will help to encourage me to use them a little bit more often. I have been color treating my hair literally since 1999. I know that sounds weird for me to remember, but it was during high school and that's when I started dyeing my hair and I have basically dyed my hair ever since then. So although I don't use any hair tools regularly like heat on my hair, I have you know put my hair through a lot of color and I do get comments so when I go into the salon that my hair is really healthy I don't have a lot of split ends or anything like that but I have noticed that um, my hair is really dry and I can tell that when I wash my hair like I'm in the shower my hair tends to get really tangled so I'm hoping that a hair mask like this um, will help me I've definitely heard a lot of people liking it so I thought I'd try it out for myself next up I have the NARS radiant creamy concealer actually in the mini size I personally use the color custard and I have been using this concealer for a couple of years now the reason why I'm opting to get the mini size instead of the regular is because I don't use concealer very often so I do feel a little bit wasteful because makeup products don't last forever and so I tend to have to get rid of some of these items before I've used the whole thing and I know it might sound silly to some with buying minis because sometimes you know buying the regular size is getting more bang for your buck it's more value than buying the small size but i feel like for concealer specifically because i'm not using a lot of it anyway it's more wasteful for me to spend more money to buy the full size than for me to spend $13 on the mini size and that be enough for me over the course of like i think you're supposed to use concealer for like six months but anyways i'm clearly not going through my concealer that quickly and so that's why i'm opting to get the mini size like i mentioned earlier i normally tend to gravitate towards gel moisturizers i do already have a couple of gel moisturizers that i have right now and because my skin can get dry it might get dry in the next couple of months. I did wanna try the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. I have heard a lot of great things about the Charlotte Tilbury Moisturizer. I have seen other YouTubers mention that they really like this moisturizer under makeup, and so that's something that I'm sort of you know, keeping in mind. I feel like that allows me to have it be a little bit more versatile where I'm using this moisturizer on a regular basis, but I can also use it while I'm filming because I have noticed some pilling with other moisturizers in the past where I put on a moisturizer, the foundation I put over it before I'm gonna film doesn't really jive with it very well. And so, you know, it kind of like flakes together as I'm applying it onto my skin. So I wanna try this one out um, and see how it goes. The last item that I have in my shopping bag is the Caudalie Vino Pure Pore Purifying Gel Cleanser. And I've just really been wanting to try something from this brand um, and I thought a gel cleanser would be a great just general easy way to try out something from the brand um, i have been interested in Caudalie for quite some time now as well as a lot of other beauty brands out there but i'm only one person with one face and there's only so many products that i can try at a time so i wanted to add this one to my list to try it this time 
All right, everyone. Well, that's all I have for this video. I hope that it was helpful for you and gave you a little bit of inspiration about what you might want to pick up during the sale. Let me know down in the comments below if any of these items intrigue you or if there's something else that you'll be trying out during the sale. And as I've mentioned, I did leave links in the description box for my prior sale or haul videos, as well as links to all of the products that I mentioned um, in this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Good luck during the sale. I hope you get all the things that you want. And of course, check out those holiday sets because sometimes I feel like that's a great way to kind of introduce yourself to a product line because they give you a variety of different minis to try out. So that might also be something to consider as you're shopping. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Thank you.